I am now going to go to line three, talk to Steve Kent, the Provincial Minister of Municipal and Air Governmental Affairs. Now, Steve, apparently we're not going to win the gold medal in hockey, so Sean just said. I need a gold medal interview out of you right now, all right? Uh, I'll do my best, Tim. I was just pleased to hear so much talk about the Montreal Canadiens. <laughs> uh, it, it's, not a, it's not a frequent topic on open line, so I'm, I'm very happy to, to hear that this morning. Well, we're, we're mixing it up. So here's your first, I'll give you one puffball question. Here it is. So the last time we had talked, you uh, you had just gotten sworn in. Uh, how's it gone in the in the the number of months since you've been municipal and intergovernmental affairs minister? What what do you think uh, you've achieved in this period of time? Well, uh, first of all, I'm I'm really enjoying the work. We we have a great team at municipal and intergovernmental affairs at fire and emergency services. Currently, I'm acting as minister of office of public engagement. We've got amazing people in each entity and uh, lots of lots of good things happening. So far, I've had an opportunity to meet with many municipal leaders. I'll be meeting with many more in the in the new year, uh, focused on a number of priorities. We're currently working to advance the fiscal framework review, uh, which will define the relationship between the province and and communities uh, going forward. And we're looking at we're looking at ways to uh, deliver services more efficiently, more effectively. We're looking at how services are paid for and how services are shared in the province. And we're going to actually be launching a very extensive consultation with municipalities and local service districts and people all across the province uh, starting in January. So more on that in the new year. Yeah, all right. Moving on a little bit, uh, a few things, more, a few more political questions, and you're a very able political player. Um, what's your view on the release that Mr. Ball did yesterday in terms of exposing who donated to his campaign and his call for more transparency generally on that? I, I think it's it's good that um, that Mr. Ball has has released his campaign expenditures. It was it was a, a little hypocritical to hear him calling for increased openness and transparency without giving any real specific examples. Um, during the time the House of Assembly was open and even leading up to that, and yet at the same time, uh, he certainly wasn't demonstrating openness and transparency himself. So I think it's a positive step. Um, I think it's also important to, to point out that as a government, we've made more information available to the public than any government before us. In fact, uh, since January this year, most general access requests to government departments have resulted in full or partial disclosure. Uh, we're, we're releasing more information than ever before. We're, we, our proactive Active disclosure initiatives are all available online, and uh, you know access to information and also protecting people's privacy is a real key pillar for us as a, as a government. Two quick questions for you. Um, 2013, people would argue, at least from a public opinion perspective, has not been a great year for the PC Party of Newfoundland and Labrador, uh, despite a recent poll that showed, uh, as the Premier argued, things stabilizing and, and moving forward. Um, what do you need to do in 2014 to win back public support? I think we need to continue to show strong leadership on on issues that matter most to Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. It has it has been a tough year, but our record is clear. I mean, we have transformed this province from a beleaguered economy to to the vibrant and growing economy we see today. Fiscal responsibility has always been important to us. We've paid down the debt. We have the highest credit credit rating we've ever had. There's more people working in Newfoundland and Labrador than ever before. We've diversified the economy, and the premier continues to show strong leadership. And, and demonstrates your dedication to the people of the province. We, we ha as a government, we have to make tough decisions sometimes that are in the best long-term interests of, of the province, and uh, we've been steadfast in that. I think uh, we saw a little, a little bump in the recent polls. I, I hope that we'll continue to, to see improvements, and we'll continue to, uh, to provide the strong leadership that this province requires to keep our economy strong, to keep people working, to, to keep communities growing. Last question for you, and I loved it, actually. I saw, I don't know if you saw, Evan Solomon asked this of Justin Trudeau, and uh, Justin paused and said, well, you tell me. So I hope you've got a better answer than Justin. <laughs> Here's the question. Uh-oh. Biggest political mistake of 2013 from the, the provincial PC party of Newfoundland and Labrador? Hmm. Biggest political mistake. That's a tough one, Tim. Um you know, clearly, th clearly, there have been times where where we could have 
uh, improved our communications. Uh, mm-hmm. Certainly, around the uh, the budget process, there was a lot of controversy and a lot of a lot of confusion and a lot of fear and anxiety created, um, partially b- due to some of the falsehoods that were being spread by the opposition. But nonetheless, we have to take responsibility for that. Mm-hmm. And I think there were some lessons learned in terms of in terms of how we get our message out there. Uh, and I think in in recent months, we've really we've really done a better job of that, and we're going to have to continue to do a better job communicating with the public and connecting with people uh, as we move into 2014. So uh, to me, that would probably be the one that stands out. Well, I think that was better than Justin's. Well, thanks. <laughs> he didn't make any, apparently. He didn't make any. So, But I, I, it's an interesting question, and I think uh, be prepared, politicians, if you're listening. I'm going to ask you. Steve handled it reasonably well. Dwight Ball handled it reasonably well last night. Anyway, uh, have a good Christmas, Steve. Uh, I'm sure you're going to be here and ever present in Mount Pearl during the holiday season. For sure. I want to wish the people of Paradise and Mount Pearl a very Merry Christmas, as well as I, I want to say Merry Christmas to all the people across the province, municipal leaders, community leaders, and, of course, the staff in the in the departments and agencies that I'm responsible for as well. All right, good. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. We'll talk in the new year. Same to you. Take care, Tim. Thanks. Take care. You're welcome. Steve Kent, Minister of Municipal and Intergovernmental Affairs.